Howdy fellow farmers, whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting your journey in Pelican Town, today's video is all about the sweetest addition to your farm, which is honey cultivation. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay updated on all things farmtastic. Now, let's get started. So let's talk first about building a bee house. The bee house crafting recipe becomes available at farming level 3. So these are the materials you need to build a bee house. You will need 40 wood, 8 coal, 1 iron and bar and one maple syrup. Once crafted, place the bee house anywhere outside on your farm in the forest or at the quarry. No matter where it is placed, the bee house will produce honey every three to four days during every season except for winter. You have to keep in mind though, although you can place bee houses in the greenhouse, bee houses will not produce any honey there. So next we will talk about flowers and honey type. If there are no flowers within 5 tiles of the bee house, it will produce wild honey, which is worth 100 gold or 140 gold with the artisan profession. However, planting flowers within its vicinity will change the type of honey and raise its value. Since honey is considered an artisan good, it is affected by the artisan profession. If you choose this profession at farming level 10, all artisan goods increase in value by 40%. Now I will show you some prices for them both right now on the screen. For spring flowers we got the tulip honey and blue jazz honey and for summer flowers we got the sunflower honey, summer spangle honey, poppy honey and for the fall flowers we got the sunflower honey, fairy rose honey. Flowers grown from wild seeds such as sweet peas or daffodils do not alter the type of honey. Bee houses near these flowers will produce wild honey. So you're probably thinking to yourself but what is honey used for exactly? In my opinion the more variable honey types are just best to simply sell as they are you know you can use wild honey or other less expensive varieties to craft other items or give as gifts or you can make meat out of honey after harvesting honey can be placed in a keg to make meat and it's base quality meat sells for 200 gold and it benefits from the artisan profession described as above you can age it in a cask to increase its quality and therefore its value for example normal meat sells for 200 gold but with the artisan profession you can get 280 gold same with the silver gold and iridium quality of the meat no that the type of honey used to make meat has no impact on the quality or sell price of the product. Thus, using wild honey, which is the cheapest variety, to make meat leads to the greatest profits. Next, we will talk about crafting and bundles. Though so, no cooking recipes involve honey, you can use it along with one hardwood and 20 fiber to craft a warp totem. The warp totem is only available at farming level 8. So, what is it? Basically, you as a player can use this anytime, anywhere to immediately teleport yourself back to the farmhouse. In a community center, honey is one of the options that the player can use to complete the artisan bundle in the pantry. Lastly, honey can be used as a gift to hand out to some NPCs in Pelican Town. Like many artisan goods, honey is among the best choices to gift to other villagers to win their friendship. All villagers except for Mario and Sebastian count honey among their liked gifts. Since it's easy to come by, wild honey is a great item to stockpile when trying to, you know, make some potential lovers or friends. Honey's alcoholic evolution mead is also a great gifting choice, especially for Pam and Willy. Most other villagers like it as well, but avoid giving this gift to Penny, Sebastian, or obviously any children. <laughs> so there you have it guys. Cultivating honey in Stardew Valley is not only a sweet endivore, but also a rewarding one. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, I hope these tips and tricks help you maximize your honey production. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Stardew Valley content. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Your support means the world to me. Until next time, happy farming and may your bees be ever busy.